Hi everyone, this is Dr. Cliff Favor here. And for the blog this week, I, I wanted to talk about this slide from my Hair and Skin 101. Now, many of you have seen it, but I know this is an area that a lot of times uh, gets forgotten, gets underestimated, but this is probably one of the most important slides of the whole presentation for the simple reason that in order to solve skin problems, we have to go in and repair the skin barrier. The problem is, is a lot of times people don't understand what that's involved in that. And what that is, is we gotta replace the oils, but we gotta replace the hydration. We gotta replace what the body has lost in the shampooing process or in the process of some type of skin issue. So this becomes very, very important. So if you don't understand the difference between an emollient humectant, you're going to struggle with how you do that. Because these are two types of conditioners and they work very, very differently. And especially when we're trying to uh, take care of a hydration problem or a skin infection, you have to understand this because it's a difference between success and failure. So the difference here is an emollient basically is a fat or oil in suspension and is just designed to sit on the surface of the skin. It doesn't penetrate, it doesn't hydrate. You know, it's, it's, it's bacon grease on the skin and if you put water on bacon grease, the water runs off. So how can you hydrate if you've got this oil layer over the top? But having said that, most of your conditioners out there are emollients. Why? Number one, they're cheap. Number two, you don't know the difference. And so they can call it a conditioner. You can be happy and you think you're doing a good job. The reality is most groomers have stopped using uh, conditioners for the simple reason they don't like the results. If you're putting fats and oils on the coat and skin, it's greasy, it's hard to scissor, it weighs down the coat. A lot of times, um, you know, the coat just looks dull and lifeless on, on that. Um, it, it's hard to get it to stand up if you're doing a uh, continental. So a lot of groomers have stopped doing that. They don't see a benefit of it. Now, the difference is if we use a humectant, a humectant's got some glorious things that go on is number one, it's absorbed into the skin and it pulls water in with it. So now we're actually hydrating. We're adding water to that skin. We're adding water to that hair. So we're taking care of dehydrated skin. We're taking care of that dry, brittle skin. We're able to add life back to the skin. We're able to restore that skin barrier, which is not only the oils, but the water and the food. You know, we're able to bring that back to health. Now, the cool thing about it also is because it's absorbed in, it doesn't leave a residual. And so when you're all done, it's not going to be greasy and slimy and, and, and that. It's going to be gone. And so what you find is it cuts down on your drying time. Think about smearing a dog with bacon grease and getting it wet and then, or getting it wet and smearing it with bacon grease, whichever way. And now we're going to dry it. How well do you think that works? Versus if we have humectant that's absorbed into the skin, brings moisture in with it, leaves no residue, how quick do you think it'll dry there? So it's very, very important, and I cannot stress this enough. This is probably one of the biggest glories of the Yves Saint Bernard products. They've got the perfect balance of the humectants and the emollients, because most of them are a combination on that. But really, at the end of the day, it's how they function. It's about functionality there. So if you have a combination and you have a lot of heavy oils and fats on there, then that's not going to work well, even though you may have a humectant in there. And a lot of times people say, well, you know, just tell me, tell me an ingredient. Well, the ingredient doesn't answer the question because it's a matter of how it functions. If I tell you that it's got one of the ingredients that are humectant and you run, get a product, but it's mainly fats and oils, you're not going to get the results that you need to. So I hope this helps. I think it's very, very important that you understand this. And I, I want to reiterate the glories of the Yves Saint Bernard products is the fact that they've got the perfect balance. They're, they're high in the humectants. They actually hydrate the coat. Any of you out there that are just shampooing and not using a, a conditioner, you've missed the boat also because a shampoo is going to strip we got to add back. And that's where you want your humectants in there. Hope this helps. We'll see you next week.